If there's one thing I want you to know about Bearded Dragons, it's that you might not have the full picture of what Bearded Dragons are actually like. Hey guys, it's Erin, and on this channel, we dig into reptile education for better care and conservation. This week, we are continuing our series on bearded dragons because I am mildly obsessed with them. Now, if you're looking at the beardy on my chest and feeling like, hmm, this beardy looks a little bit different, uh, this is definitely not the, the tiny little bumble that we've seen in the past, you are 100% correct. This is a brand new, well, brand new to this family, beardy. He's not a baby, I act like he's a baby. Yeah, I'm calling him brand new. He's embarrassed. This is Archie and Archie is new to the Moonlit Jungle family and is a little bit apprehensive about what we have going on here. He's never been on camera before in this house. He's never seen the camera setup. He's currently eyeballing the microphone. It's got a red light on it and he is like, what is happening? But we are going to be using this time to get some additional handling in because uh, we're still learning each other. He's still learning me. I'm still learning him. Now this week we're digging into some common misconceptions around bearded dragons because I have the wonderful opportunity of getting to connect with a lot of people that are not in the reptile community and hearing what their thoughts are on certain reptiles. And I have really enjoyed hearing people's input or what they believe to be true about bearded dragons. So we're going to clear up some misconceptions and dig into the truth. Now before we do, I would love for you to do me a favor. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed, hit your notification bell so you never miss a video. We're putting new videos out every single week. We love having you here. We love getting to share reptile education with you. And every person who shares and watches helps contribute to the Moonlit Jungle Rescue, which is a nonprofit rescue dedicated to providing a safe space for reptiles in need. Okay, let's dig in. Chances are you've seen a video or a picture, or you've heard from someone that bearded dragons are lazy. I understand that that is something that is really perpetuated in the media, that bearded dragons are these lazy, like little potatoes that just sit around and do nothing all day. This is not true. Of course, like any animal, bearded dragons are going to have downtime where they're going to be just chilling and hanging out and relaxing in their hammock and just living their best life. But in my experience, bearded dragons are inquisitive and they like to run around and be active and climb. While they are marketed as lazy, like loungy potatoes, they're not. They're active and they will take advantage of enrichment experiences, which means you got to enrich them. You got to give them the exercise. And honestly, it's it's so much fun. It is so much fun to be able to do that sort of thing with your reptile. Another thing I hear a lot of is that bearded dragons are always excellent eaters. <laughs> <laughs> if you're a bearded dragon owner, you're over there like, no, this is not true. L let me be honest with you. Um, bearded dragons are a lot like toddlers, okay? They like what they like and they don't like what they don't like. And sometimes what they don't like, it's it, there are things that they just have never tried, okay? Bearded dragons will love to eat their bugs, okay? I don't think I've ever seen a bearded dragon that turned away a bug if it was a healthy dragon. Okay? But when it comes to the greens and the salads and whatnot. It doesn't matter what sort of like gourmet, like Gordon Ramsay salad you've made for your bearded dragon, they're probably gonna turn their nose up at it. Okay. Unless you are one of the lucky ones who has a like a, a dump truck of a bearded dragon who will eat literally anything, you're gonna experience sometimes where your beardy is like, greens, no, I'm not eating that. Bearded dragons can 100% be picky. So you have to trial and error things to figure out what they're gonna like and what they're not gonna like and uh, even get a little bit tricky about getting them to eat. Psst, guess what? I'll be doing a video on that in the future. We're gonna be talking about that in just a couple weeks. Another thing I hear is that bearded dragons tend to love everybody. They just will tolerate being handled by anybody. It doesn't matter who it is. They don't care. They just are chill, laid back, whatever. For the most part, listen, for the most part, this is pretty true, okay? Bearded dragons are typically pretty chill when it comes to being handled. Not every bearded dragon though. Not every bearded dragon. And here's the best part, because bearded dragons are uh, relatively intelligent, they actually do know the difference between you and another owner or another keeper or another person. A good example of this is Bumble. If you've been around for a while, you know that Bumble is with me a lot and she hangs out with me a lot. She's very tolerant of me handling her. I keep her with me quite a bit. She's very chill with me, but that's it. 
She will let my kids feed her. She'll let them pet her. She will not relax the way she does with me. She'll go right to sleep on me, whereas if the kids are petting her, she's very much on alert. Same with my husband. She knows that he's safe, like she trusts him, but not so much that she's just gonna let her guard down. Take her to the vet, completely different story. She turns into a literal dragon who is threatening and hissing and black bearding and very upset. Now you're probably thinking, well, yeah, Bumble's come from a really bad situation. And if you haven't heard her story, you can click on your screen right now. I'll link to that video where I share a little bit about Bumble's background. You'll be thinking, yes, it's because of that. But here's the thing, I've met bearded dragons that have come from beautiful, amazing, spoiled, loving environments, just amazing environments. And I've gone into it with that like, yeah, I know reptiles and I'm gonna handle that reptile and, and it's gonna be great. And that dragon has hated me, like immediately. It's just been like, mm -mm, not you. Because bearded dragons are their own little creatures, they have their own little personalities, and they decide who they like and who they don't like. Which is why this guy isn't quite as at ease with me as Bumble, and you can kind of tell. He is new to the house. He's relaxed for the most part. He's learned over the time that I'm not gonna hurt him and that I mean Tritos and whatnot, but he also knows that I'm not his usual person, that this is a new environment. And he was very well loved, very well cared for, and only ended up here because of life circumstances. He's also still really not sure about this microphone. That he keeps like turning to look at the microphone. He's like, what is this? Show them how handsome you are. Oh, beautiful, handsome, gorgeousness, gorgeousness. So while bearded dragons aren't necessarily like aggressive, like defensive animals, they don't necessarily like everybody and that's okay it's just part of their personality the other thing i hear a lot of and i hear this particularly as someone who is running a rescue from people who are hoping to adopt is that they want a bearded dragon because of how cuddly they are because bearded dragons are so snuggly okay listen bearded dragons can definitely be snuggly bumble is definitely the snuggliest of my beardies and only with me. Then we have Q, and Q is snuggly when he wants to be, but more often than not, he's on the go exploring and trying to figure out what he can get into next because he's literally like a permanent three-year-old. And this guy, he snuggles, but he's also like a little apprehensive, right? They don't always like cuddling. They don't always want to be held and carried around. They want to get into things and do things. This ties right into being a couch potato. The big key here is, is that you're going to get from your reptile what you put into it. We talked about taming and bonding uh, with your reptile in another video, but if you go through and do the hard work and commit time and energy to it, you have a much higher chance of having a very snuggly beardy. But just know, that that's not always the case. It's not like a one size fits all thing. Not every bearded dragon is gonna wanna like snuggle and that's okay. They're still cool even without the snuggling. Now like every other animal on the face of the earth, there is a ton of misinformation out there about bearded dragons and some of them are not as harmless as these little myths that I shared today. Some of them are detrimental to the actual bearded dragon and that's kind of what we talked about last week where I shared a few reasons why beardies are not actually easy reptiles. As much as I think they're amazing reptiles for any reptile keeper, they're not easy. If you haven't had a chance to watch that, I would love for you to go ahead and click that video on your screen right now. And remember, until next time, do your research. Bye guys. <laughs>